Hello, I am Artikash, the developer of Textractor, and this video is a quick rundown on how to use Textractor. To start, either attach your a Textractor to an already running game, or launch the game. My game is already running, Baldur's Sky, so I'll just attach to it. You can either type in your process name, or you can select it in the drop-down. So now that we're attached, make the game display some text, and then go to this top right drop down. Skip the first two items and search the re other remaining items to see if any of them have the text. This item has the text, so as you can see, if you click again, more text will be displayed. Uh, now, this usually text tracker will be able to automatically find it, and you'll see these drop downs uh, with the full text in them. If you don't, then you can also try this. Click Add Hook, and then type in S, and then the current text being displayed. You can also type in an EGTH style H code. And either way, you'll see inserting hook, user hook. You'll see a bunch of this if you're successful. And you'll get some more drop downs. Click again to get some more text. And then go through the drop downs and see if any of them found uh, both lines of text. So here it is. So this drop down also has all the text. And you can keep going. There's plenty more text. It's all being displayed here. That basically covers uh, the extracting text part of this program. Textractor also supports user-built extensions, as well as shipping with a bunch of extensions that you can just add immediately. One useful extension that Textractor ships with is the Google Translate. To add this extension, just drag it from your computer onto the extensions window. This extension automatically translates any uh, detected text using Google Translate. As you can see, it's being automatically translated. Of course, you can add multiple extensions if you like. Another useful extension is the regex filter. The regex filter allows me to filter out these at ends, which are kind of annoying. To do so, And as you can see, there are no more at ends. One more useful extension is the extra new lines extension, which spaces things out a little bit. As you can see, there's more new lines here. But it's important to note that the extensions are processed from top to bottom. So uh, when I have it like this, the what will first happen is that the text will be translated, and then extra new lines will be added. However, I can change this. You can rearrange extensions by just dragging and dropping. So now extra new lines will be added between the translation and the original text because I'm adding extra new lines and then translating it instead of uh, the other way around. As you can see, there's an extra new line in between, and there's no more extra new lines in, uh, in between the old translation and this one. So that basically covers everything about Textractor. Uh, well, there's some other stuff, but you'll figure it out. Uh, let me know if any problems, questions, or suggestions are relating to Textractor via GitHub, email, or by commenting below.